GM guys, it's Stranger Things here. As you all know, the past few weeks have been rough for most investors and traders, particularly in the stock equities and crypto markets. Many people are chiming in with their views of stagflation, essentially high unemployment and little to no economic growth even though prices continue rising. But I'm not here to talk about that today, there's many videos for that so don't worry. Now as you can tell from the title, I'm going to talk about something a bit more lighthearted. I actually just want to share a bit or more about my crypto and NFT experience so far. I started taking cryptos more seriously in 2020 and moving further into the Web3 space with NFTs. I've now spent close to 11 months on NFTs. And I think what makes NFTs particularly fascinating for me, why I choose to produce so much content about it versus just crypto, is firstly because number one, it was crazy lucrative, right? Secondly, everything is very visual, especially with all your metaverse lands and profile pic collections. And number three, many NFT projects are predicated on the community. So throughout this time, I've made friends online that eventually I had a chance to meet offline through in real life events. And here's some footage that I want to share. We're just going for NFT meetup, NFT holders meetup for the Heartbreak Fair project. So yeah, no Meta Gem agent for today, but still gonna meet some of the NFT holders and have a good time networking. So see you. Yo everyone, so I'm now at Bunking and I'm actually going for another Web3 meetup. This time it's for a project called Unfiltered. Yeah, we just ended this uh, Dreamland Genesis meetup. Yeah, I got to meet a couple of different people uh, that I knew previously only on Discord, but now we put a face to the name. This is the Dreamland Genesis collection. Here is the new NFT gallery. They've got free drinks here. Unfortunately, not a lot of food there because I came late. But yeah, it's been a pretty great experience, and see you again next time. Now I hope you enjoyed all that B-roll right, that was compiled through my different events. Why am I sharing all this really? I'm not sure actually, I just thought that it would be nice to reminisce this rosy moment of NFTs before we go into a possible crypto winter. And I'm not sure how long it will take for crypto and NFTs to recover, if ever. Before we continue this video, I just want to share a quick promotional opportunity. No, I'm not sponsored, but it's going to be with Weibo. So for all my new users of Weibo, here's your chance to earn some extra cash. All you got to do is to sign up for a Weibo account within this limited time period and basically if you fulfill all the requirements you will be entitled to receive up to $100 worth of Apple shares. So how is this going to be done? You got to create your account using my sign up link below or using your friend's sign up link, it doesn't really matter. But once you got your new account up and running, then you're going to have to fund $2,000 into that trading account and use it to make at least one buy trade of US stock option or ETF and that will grant you $60 worth of Apple fractional shares and to earn $40 more worth of Apple fractional shares you got to do at least five more buy trades within the same qualifying period for stocks options or ETS for US listed companies as well and the further perk here is that when you do sign up with a Weibo account during this period you will also get access to level 2 US trading data for the next three months so what are you waiting for check out the link below and I'll see you on the Weibo trading platform back to the video I will admit that majority of crypto and NFTs are speculation and I always went into it with the premise of playing the role as a trader more than an investor, especially when it comes to NFTs. That's also why in most of my videos I mentioned that NFTs are a high risk investment and I hope that that message has been taken seriously, especially with the market coming to where it is now. I've been fortunate enough to take profits on some of my investments, so I'm still relatively unscathed from the recent happenings with Luna, with Celsius and so on and so forth. Now, no matter whether you are up or down in this journey, think back to the good times you've had, which is essentially what I'm trying to demonstrate in this video. Plus, sometimes when you join this in 
real life events, you are eligible for lucky draws. There's usually food and drinks involved too, so that's an additional perk. And it provides a very good memory. No matter what happens with NFTs and cryptos, right? I think this will always be something that you will treasure. This whole Web3 community building experience. So I really encourage everyone watching this video to try attending at least one event. Anyway, I've already said my piece for this video. Last but not least, I just want to encourage everyone to stay strong in these tough times. The crypto content now is going to be all gloomy these few days. So if you appreciate my alternate spin on the situation with this video, do drop it a like and maybe even a subscribe. Take care, don't do anything emotionally rash and I'll see you in the next video.